Are aliens real? Honestly, with everything going on with the Pentagon and the UFOs, they might be. But where are they living? Well, the ocean might hold the answer to this question. From weird alien creatures caught living underwater to footage of strange UFOs entering the ocean. Let's talk about this and more only in today's video. Top 10 signs of alien life underwater. Hey everyone, what's up? And welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, aka Peach. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go on over to my new channel. It is called Peach and it is the peachiest channel on the internet. And it's just a good time over there. You know, it's, it's a little break from all this scary, alien, weird stuff. Okay, go check it out, please. That being said, make sure you smash that like button and uh, subscribe. Now, we'll get on with this video. Starting off this countdown, we have the Solomon Island Saucer. Over the years, there have been a number of UFO sightings near the Solomon Islands. Most witnesses experience the exact same thing. They see a UFO with strange lights rise out of the ocean and fly off into the sky. These sightings are what have led to the theory that aliens have secret bases underwater. One fisherman in the area said he saw this UFO and the lights raise out of the ocean and then fly by him. He said it got so close to him that he could feel the heat on him as it passed by. Not only that, but some people who have witnessed this ended up disappearing without a trace. So like, did the aliens come for them or something or what? Are they gonna come for me now? No thank you. Just don't go to Solomon Islands, okay? In our ninth spot today, we have the octopi. And I wanna say octopus is so bad, but I know it's not the proper plural, so we're going with octopi, whatever. Ancient astronaut theorists believe that octopi are some sort of version of an alien. Maybe they're related to aliens. So let me explain. So we all know that back in the day, tons of meteors crashed down on Earth. Well, they believe that the meteorites that crashed into the ocean from space actually contained some sort of organic material. Now, this either infected some sort of water species or allowed the material in the meteor to evolve into octopi. So really, octopi could just be composed of alien DNA. Now, to support this theory, they mentioned that both octopi and aliens are incredibly smart. On a number of occasions, octopi have pulled pranks on humans. They also have way different genomes than squids, which they're said to be closely related to. And also, they can change colors. They're just a really weird species. So what do you think? Could octopi be descendants of aliens? Maybe. Coming in at number eight, we have the Yonaguni Monument. Located in the depths of the Dragon's Triangle is this weird underwater formation, which has been given the name the Yonaguni Ruins. It's a bunch of weird structures that no one knows much about. Some say they are remnants of a lost civilization. Others believe they were created by aliens and that they're part of a secret underwater alien base. Let's explore that theory. For starters, it's kind of odd that this monument is located in the Dragon's Triangle. This area is considered the Pacific's very own Bermuda Triangle. Over the years, a number of ships and planes have disappeared in broad daylight in calm waters in that area. Maybe this underwater monument has something to do with these disappearances. For example, in 1952, the Japanese government sent 31 individuals to go investigate this area. They all disappeared from that area without a trace, and their bodies and the ship were never found. Theory goes that this monument is being used by aliens in some way. Maybe it's interfering with our navigational equipment and causing these plane crashes and ship disappearances. Who knows? Coming in at number seven, we have Ivan Sanderson. In 1970, biologist Ivan Sanderson published a book titled The Invisible Residence. In this book, he talked all about UFOs or USOs, unidentified submerged objects, aka UFOs that have been spotted going into the water or rising up out of it. According to his book, on April 19th, 1957, a crew member on board a Japanese fishing boat witnessed something very strange. He saw two metallic silvery objects descend from the sky and dive right down into the sea. He described them as being 10 meters long with no wings or anything. When the craft hit the water, it caused great waves and rocked their boat. This could be more proof that aliens have secret bases in the ocean. 
Coming in at number six, we have the leaked UFO video. A recent leaked video from 2019 shows a UFO diving into the ocean off the coast of San Diego. And guess what? The Pentagon confirmed this video to be authentic. So basically, in this video, you can see a dark spherical object flying over the ocean. It was picked up by an infrared camera at night. The object flies back and forth across the screen before stopping and slowly lowering itself into the water. Apparently, this video was recorded by official Navy personnel. Take a look at it and see for yourself. Took off, spoken it. Staying wind, top side, gust of 40. What was splash? splash? What do you think that could be? The Pentagon has no explanation for it yet. Also, the area was then searched and no craft was ever recovered or found. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Baltic Sea Anomaly. In 2011, a group of divers went out looking for treasure in the Baltic Sea. That's when they came across something, something weird. It was a 70 meter long weird object laying 300 feet below sea level. This thing has since been named the Baltic Sea Anomaly because no one knows what it is. It's just this massive steel looking structure shaped like a disc with some weird patterns on it. It gets weirder when the divers claim their equipment randomly stopped working when they got closer to the object. The thing caused a massive electrical interference there. It's believed that this thing could be part of an ancient alien spacecraft. To this day, this thing still baffles scientists. They don't know what the heck it is. In our fourth spot today, we have the underwater crop circles. Underwater crop circles don't really need an explanation. They're crop circles found underwater. They're actually quite beautiful. It's just a bunch of almost perfect circles with a design found at the bottom of the sea. Scientists have said that they are made naturally by puffer fish while on a journey to find a mate. Bah, 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 okay? It's kind of weird how perfect and detailed and intricate these circles are. You decide what you want to believe. Are they made by a fish or are they made by aliens? In our third spot today, we have the underwater Stonehenge. Turns out that there's a version of Stonehenge located right at the bottom of Lake Michigan. There are a bunch of random rock formations that scientists have been struggling to explain, but it's believed that they are thousands of years old. What makes it even weirder is that on one of these stones, they discovered a carving of a mastodon a relative of an elephant that went extinct over 10,000 years ago. So they were like, hmm, maybe the structure has been here since the last ice age. So we really don't know how old they truly are or who built them and why. But of course, ancient astronaut theorists believe that aliens are involved in this somehow. In our second spot today, we have the weird space alien creature, alien. So it was captured in 2013 by a remotely operated vehicle. The vehicle was 3,753 below in the Indian Ocean when it saw this creature. Now the creature is quite beautiful. It looks almost like a jellyfish, but it's a creature we have never seen before. As the video goes on, we literally see it shape shift in front of our eyes and it starts to glow different colors. Then at the end of the video, it like disintegrates it's from Earth. And in our number one spot today, we have the Sycamore Knoll. The Sycamore Knoll is a weird stadium shaped structure located about 2000 feet underwater. It's massive. It's about two and a half to three miles wide. It also has what appears to be pillars or columns supporting it. And under there, it looks like an entrance. So automatically people were like, yeah, that for sure is an entrance to an alien base. And not gonna lie, it looks like it. This base was first discovered on Google Maps and it's located close to Malibu. People have claimed to see UFOs landing in the waters in that exact area before they even knew of that underwater structure. Freaky, isn't it? To this day, scientists don't know for sure what this thing even is. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Do you believe in aliens? Let me know in the comments below. Also, speaking of comments, I'm gonna change it up a little and I'm gonna be shouting out some comments from my channel, Peach. So go on over to Peach and subscribe and comment if you wanna be featured in a comment shout out. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 dumbest people who got stuck in weird places. Don Stewart commented, there was a man I knew who had a huge lawn 
and at least 30 toilets without exaggerating as ornaments, some with flowers, some as is. <coughs> okay, uh, what a crappy lawn. <laughs> no, but seriously, toilets as decoration? Maybe not, maybe not. Daniel Noblock commented, this reminds me of the school desks that's super hard to get out of. The ones in middle school and high school. Anyone know which one? Yes. I've gotten stuck in those on multiple occasions. And then my hair gets caught on the thing at the back. It's not pretty. I'm glad that I'm done with school. Jack Altman commented, do you even sleep? Never. I never get sleep. I'm just constantly filming. All right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan. Go subscribe to Peach, and I'll see you when I see ya. See you over on Peach.